Hey everybody, this is your coach, Andrea Dickerson here with IOwnADaycare.com, where we connect childcare business owners with proven management solutions. For today's proven management solution, I want to talk to childcare business owners who are currently looking for ways to create a system in their childcare business that includes their procedures, their policies, their manuals, and their binders. If you're having a problem with following what you've written concerning your operations from the beginning to the end, then give this video a thumbs up, stay tuned, and I'll be right back with solutions to help you succeed with effective management systems. I'm on a search looking for the next jumpstart boss of America. We've traveled from Jacksonville, Florida, Atlanta, Georgia, Orlando, Florida, Tallahassee, Florida, Los Angeles, California, Omaha, Nebraska, New York, New York, Chicago, Illinois. It's time to dominate. The next child care business owner who will impact the city, the community, the children, the staff, the parents in such a way until your community will know that your fingerprints have been embedded in their lives. Welcome back. I'm truly excited for what's about to happen with Jumpstart Bosses of America. If you're looking for a team of women to join that will provide you with their sisterhood, network, information, add value, content, expose you to industry leaders, industry experts, and give you strategies to operate Child Care 2020, then guess what? Join us by going to www.jump start bosses of america.com all right you guys so in today's video i want to three top secrets on how to create your operational management systems that's effective through procedures manuals policies and binders so that's i want to help you accomplish creating those things in your business and the, and the number one most effective way to having your binder set up for completion your manual set up for completion and your um, procedure set up for co completion is through checklists. So essentially I'm saying you may want to have a checklist in your binder, a checklist in your procedure manual, and a checklist for your policies and procedures. And so I'm going to talk about how these three checklists are vital to your follow through in your systems. So one thing that I've noticed that happens in the child care industry is that child care business owners, they just get binders and they just stuff it with paper, stuff, stuff, stuff. However, there is no rhyme or reason to why these items are in this particular binder and there's no rhyme or reason to how these items need to be applied in your classrooms. So one of the mistakes that child care business owners make is that they know that they need to have something to refer to like a manual, but they never set it up so that it can be followed through in their program. So here's secret number one, which is the overall secret to the whole video, which is to make a checklist. So there is how to use checklists in your child care business. To use checklists with your binders, let's take, for instance, you were going to give your binder to your front desk assistant and say, hey, I want you to help me to run my front desk based on the system. What you are literally going to put in your assistant hand is your binder. Your binder will have your four tab sections or five tab sections to it that would separate the duties that are complete to be completed on Monday, the duties to be completed on Tuesday, the duties to com be completed on Wednesday, and so forth. When you put your duties in um, compartments based on the um, day of the week, then in front of that will be the checklist. So the checklist will give them what tasks that should be done on Monday. And as they complete the task that's done on Monday, they'll take that checklist, check it off and turn it into you. That way you have that proof of accountability that these things are being done. However, your key to make them work is knowing how to set up your binder management system. Now that's something that I offer you in my eight week coaching program, which is the Jumpstart Academy program. With our eight week systems, 
program, I teach you what those systems are that you need for the front desk. And I give you the checklist. So all you have to do is edit it to meet your program specifications. It's just that easy. All right, so here's another checklist that you need in your business. So now when you create your um, staff training policy and procedure manuals, you need checklists. You need a checklist to show your team what you are expecting of them and when these things are to be done and for them to check off when those things are done. So for me, I put this information inside of my teacher training manual, okay? So my teacher training manual or classroom manual or teacher um, handbook or my teacher um, folder, classroom folder, those things are completed with checklists. So every single day, they have a checklist inside of their teacher classroom folder that has to be completed and returned back to the front desk. This is going to help them be held accountable for that system. So now when I train my staff on um, what to do in my classroom or they are a new hire, they're going to be trained from this checklist. So when I train them from this checklist, that means my back office system, my new hire orientation system is set up according to this particular checklist. So now when I train a person on how my, my program is to operate, they'll know what happens on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday that are some must haves and then tasks that's consistent that should be done in my organization no matter what. And they take the particular checklist in their teacher um, classroom folder complete the checklist, turn it in, and clock out for the end of the day. That way you have accountability. So these are ways that I recommend that you use checklists. Now, checklists are not just in paragraph form. Checklists are bold. Checklists have color codes. Checklists have images. Checklists have instructions. That Your checklist should be so plain that even someone who's never worked in childcare or Maybe even a fifth grader could read it, understand it, and do it. And if they can't do it, they will know to ask questions. Just, that is just how clear your checklist should be. Well, all right, I'm excited because when I learned this system and I implemented these type of programs in my, in my business, it helped me to over, get out of overwhelm, get the systems done, and lead a team more effectively because their accountability to me was through those checklist systems. And I know you say, well, coach, we have a checklist for this and a checklist for that. Well, maybe the way you have your program operating, the checklists are not essential to the end of the day task. So whenever you do checklists, it makes it essential to the end of the day task. Now, you may have an electronic system that you use, but guess what? Find out if there's a way that this electronic system can offer them a checklist as well. All right, so I'm super excited. You guys go now to andreasjumpstartstrategy.com, sign up, let me be your Jumpstart Academy eight-week coach to help you get your systems in place. Well, until next time, if you manage the childcare business that you love, you will love the childcare business that you manage. Bye, you guys.